Hello again, Pearl family, and welcoming you back to Tech Edition. It's been a while, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> so today's series, I'm talking about top six ten careers in demand. Yes. So I want to let you know that you don't have to do what I do, but I'm more than happy to share the information you need with you to choose your tech career if you are interested in new viewers you are welcome this is everything habitable where i share information about technology also share information about fashion and style tips about decorations about family cooking and lots more so if this is something that you are interested about uh please don't hesitate to subscribe like this video and share with whoever you think might need this information my pearl family already know me but to my new viewers my tech careers are networking and cyber security so I currently work as a network engineer and also um, cyber security certified. Let's get it started. Haiti has many branches and leaves in non-technical terms. So if you're interested in tech, please check the first series on Tech Talk. Uh, that video is on how to transition into tech with no experience. So. You may want to see that and don't miss it. Additionally, there are many high tech parts in tech world. So before you decide, you need to research and also search within yourself the skills you have that can be transferable to high tech and your ability to learn new skills. I don't intend to make this video a long video. So I will be talking about some high tech parts that I feel you need to know and let me know in the comment section if you have other ones that you want me to cover and also if you are a high tech professional or you are already an expert in tech, please share in the comment section as well so the beginners and other people can learn from your experience and expertise so from what i have prepared for you the first career path in tech that is top six in demanding right now is cloud cloud technology and infrastructure is very popular these days a lot of companies are making transitioning from premise to cloud and for this career path, I advise to start at the entry level. This career and most of IT careers, you are expected to have knowledge and experience of IT and infrastructure to make the career easier. Well, you also need understanding of networking. How network devices communicate, that is the summary of networking. You can be cloud architect, and cloud engineer depending and there are several more so the next on the list of top six tech careers in demand is networking the networking i'm talking about is networking field not networking with people so this involves networking technology and it's also a career path that is background to some other tech careers uh, like cyber security this involves network connection between network devices like base stations routers switches and more if you have been wondering how systems communicate in the network like if you're in a office and you just wonder how the the system A connect to B or if you're in this room and your system is connected to the other department which is like maybe five buildings away that is the work of networking in tech world but this also involves VPN which is virtual private network it involves um, firewall understanding gateways network security routing IP addressing and many more the roles in networking are network administrator network architect network engineer security engineer 
and many more. Having spoken with a lot of people in Haiti, some people believe networking is meant for men. That's not true. I'm a network engineer and I love it. Well, some people may not find it interesting because truly you barely see ladies in networking field. Like in my department, I used to be the only lady in my department and now we are two. But you rarely see ladies in networking field. But if it's something that you are interested in, do not wait. So next on my list is cyber security. The famous cyber security. Yes, that's my second favorite. I know cyber security is a tech field that a lot of people want to get into and cyber security isn't a career that you can do compared to other tech fields it definitely comes with its own challenges but it's easier with the right resources you know and also practical knowledge willing attitude to learn that is also very important is this career path is also broad like application security network and infrastructure security intrusion detection penetration testing what people call pen testing and digital forensics we have incident response endpoint protection and mobile security cloud security a lot more i think cyber security is what you can do why not try it so the certifications to consider in cyber security are security plus which is the entry level for cyber security and then you can also later later you can get the ceh the certified ethical hacker later you get the cissp the CISA and many more, as many as you want. But for entry level, Security Plus, focus on more practicals, you know, hands on training, get resources that can help you to have knowledge about cybersecurity and to pass through the interview stage. If you ask me, I would say start with entry level jobs, then go from there. If you are able to find mid-level job, that is great. But it takes a lot of work to prove to the interview managers that you have what they are looking for. If you can do proper preparation, then it's possible as a beginner to get mid-level job. But it's a lot of work. It's possible. So <laughs> if you can number four tech top careers in demand hajir scrum master this is interesting for so many people to know that this career path doesn't need programming knowledge you don't need coding it may take some time to become an effective scrum master because you have to understand the key skills required you know to perform scrum master roles which are number one, facilitation, two, teaching, three, coaching. Scrum masters often become coaches, mentors, product owners, managers, or further as scrum masters in some more challenging situations. So you can come from any field if you are interested in scrum master. So here is a scrum master career path. So the next on the list, which is data analytics. Data analytics is also growing. It's also called big data. For the purpose of analyzing data, data analytics is categorized in three types. Number one, descriptive, two, predictive, and prescriptive analysis. There are lots of resources online if you want to self-learn 
you can check Coursera or Udemy and many more there are many of them if you know you're not good in programming or you don't like programming this might not be the path for you there are several paths you may consider and if you think you still want to learn you can go ahead and learn it but just know that you need programming language knowledge you need to know sql and lots more if you really want to succeed in data analytics the last on the list which is number six is devops this career path is very unique and interesting this is more advanced tech path if you love programming and interested in tech automation and integration processes between software development IT operations then this career is something you might want to try or you want to make research on and dive into and DevOps is a combination of developers and operations in summary of what they do is what I have up here I don't recommend this for beginners if you know that you are capable why not never say never right but those are the tech careers that are top six that I recommend if you want to choose career path in tech and also tech careers that are in demand presently thank you for watching if you do watch till the end i want you to please indicate in the comment section in quote tech so that is to indicate that you watch the full video i would love to see that for my own analytics and also for future video preparations just be for blessed. you bye bye